Hello friends, welcome to the channel. My name is Saurav and today we will talk about what can freshers do to actually get a job in DevOps. So I think when you are a fresher, you don't really have much idea about what DevOps is. You've heard about it much. You have a little bit of knowledge about uh, you, you need to actually understand the CI, CD and cloud and also. But before we actually start that, I think the fresher should think from uh, an organization point of view that what does a company want? Right? And once you understand it, you will be able to start working towards it. So you have to realize uh, what are the skills required for a DevOps engineer job. So you have to put in both from a position of a developer as an op or as an operations guy. So from an from an organization perspective, the organizations are looking for people with a very wide variety of skill sets. So you don't need to go and do a PhD in one subject. You need to have a very very broad level understanding of what exactly all these different bits and pieces are. And then you need to go pick and choose where you actually want to go in depth. Do you want to go in depth into a, a continuous integration or you want to go towards testing or you want to actually do more towards deployments or you want to be a, a hardcore programmer and go towards uh, Git using languages like Python, Go, Ruby. So you have to understand uh, the whole jigsaw puzzle and then pick and choose your different uh, skill set uh, to which your strengths are. So just try to understand what a developer is executing when they develop code or they do testing or deployment. Also, just having a formal degree or college education is not sufficient for anyone to bag a DevOps job. So we understand that there is a gap between education and the practical skill sets. Uh, and often uh, there, it's very it's very difficult for somebody to actually start filling in those gaps. And sometimes you can feel that whatever was being taught in college is not really what exactly the market is about. So there is a lot of gap filling that you need to do. So if as a fresher, you really want to get hired as a DevOps engineer, then apart from your college degrees, you should you should have some knowledge of DevOps. Now, how do you get this knowledge? Uh, you can start learning, uh, you can start enrolling yourself in some DevOps learning programs. You should have a mentor who can actually guide you in different phases because without a mentor, you're just doing haphazard things. Sometimes you're doing, or uh, let's say sometimes you're focusing on cloud, sometimes you're focusing on, and there are so many different varieties within itself, right? So within cloud itself, you're like, if you look at AWS, you've got EC2, you've got S3, you've got all these networkings, you've got VPC, you've got subnets. Uh, it's very easy to get start getting bombarded with all these different technologies and you lose a track of what the context is. So it, it should it's you should have a mentor about uh, giving you some proper and practical guidance around it and what sort of uh, uh, what sort of strengths should you play around uh, when you're preparing for DevOps. Now, one thing which I'm not telling you is that I'm not telling that a fresher cannot do DevOps. Fresher can do DevOps with a, but there is some sort of skill sets. Uh, there's some sort of refinery uh, that that needs to be done. It's not going to be an easy path. Uh, you need to do a lot of uh, preparation, research, study. Well, hard working is one of the basic attributes because uh, if you if you are working hard, you will be able to uh, get more knowledge. And then you then you can apply for all the DevOps engineering courses and jobs. And hardworking is something that uh, there's no shortcut to it. So keep your spirits high. You can do it. So you can go to a, towards your next job or if you're looking for your first job in the market, all you need to do is to have, be a very, very focused on what you want to learn, uh, where you want to go, identify your strengths, and look around where uh, how all this jigsaw puzzle fits in. Because when you're looking at DevOps, when you're looking at cloud, it's just not one piece of technology which is integrated. There are lots of different components. There are uh, there are around seven to eight phases in DevOps, and there are around thirty plus modules in AWS, and same in GCP and Azure. So, so the knowledge that you have to acquire is going to be huge, but it's fun. So 
it, it's really fun if you have a mentor around, if there is somebody who can teach you, somebody who can guide you. And uh, yep, so I just wish you all the best.